We're here. Matt Moser here with KATV7. <laughs> is buying or renting better for you? Put on those parkas, because we're going to the parka. Matt Moser. Tyler and I thought, we just thought, you know what? I want to have a good go, time. I want to go to Magic Springs. Just a couple bros couple, going to ride some rides. A couple bros. We're going to go to the water park today. Uh, what's the temperature out right now? Uh, I don't know. Closed. Why is this? Are we in this? Is this the off season? Why would a water park not be open? Why are you locking your doors to the public? Why? Dude, man, it's like platform not a we came all this way. We have been traveling 16, 17 uh, years. Days. Days. Lost Aunt Edna along the way. You enjoy throwing up every five minutes, Claude? Oh, that's not very sturdy. Oh. None of the rides are closed, for sure. Listen, Tyler, do not get bitter about this. You're going to need to forgive them. Speaking of unforgiveness, what are we talking about today, Neil? Forgiveness. Is more than saying sorry. Listen, we're, Tyler. We're, hi, Tyler. Hey, Neil. <laughs> In order to forgive somebody, you're going to have to learn what forgiveness isn't. Ooh, that's good. Here's a couple things. It's actually a terrible way of teaching somebody. Why don't you just teach them what it is instead right. of teaching so them So we're going to talk about the quadratic formula today. First off, it's not A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We're that's not it. No, we're against that principle. We're going to tell you what forgiveness isn't. Forgiveness isn't retaliation. Retaliation. Sounds like a uh, Sean Connery. Jean-Claude Van Connery. There's this guy in the Old Testament, his name is Joseph. And his family actually sold him into slavery. Yeah, not great. Not a good family. No. You think your family? Thanksgiving's up. gonna be awkward. Like, hey, what's up, guys? Just been in slavery since you guys sold me. Oh, can you pass the cranberries? You're welcome. After he was sold into slavery, there was another. The amazing. guy he was working for. The guy he was wor working for. Why? Make it sound like he clocked in and clocked Master. out. Then a woman tried to accuse him of something not very nice. Yeah, it's bad. And she was lying. She lied. She lied. She lied. She did. He right. went to prison for a crime that he didn't commit. Yeah, that's the trifecta for what you don't want to happen. That's to the triple. Crown. Slavery, accused of a crime you didn't commit, and go to jail. Yeah. Here are my hands. Thanks, good. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Joseph could have gotten bitter and retaliated, but he never did. No. That's why we talk about Joseph. Yeah. If he'd retaliated, we probably wouldn't be talking about him. Yeah, we're definitely talking about him because later on in his life, he had this moment. I don't know if I would have been able to be this strong, but he got his brothers together, and when he finally saw them again, remember, they, they sold him into slavery. Yeah, no bueno. Um, they lied to their dad. Said, said he got killed. Yeah. Here's what Joseph said to them. This is in uh, this is in Genesis chapter 50. He said, "You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives." He chose not to be bitter, even though he had every reason to do it. Yeah. You know what else? Forgiveness is not. What? It's not retaliation, like we just said. Yeah. It's also. It's not trust. Forgive somebody doesn't mean I gotta trust them. Like, oh, you lied to me. Okay, well I forgive you. Yep. Means they're gonna believe everything you say. <laughs> Forgiveness applies even if you don't trust them. You can forgive someone and not trust them. Trust is something that has to be rebuilt and earned back. We don't forgive somebody because they always deserve it. No. We forgive because God did it for us. Uh, forgiveness isn't reconciliation. We make this a caveat for us to forgive somebody. When they apologize, well, then I'll forgive them. I don't know why they talk like that, but they do. It's not how it works. If we do this, we become hostage to the very person who wronged Ooh, us. Ooh, that's win-win for them. Win -win. Lose-lose for us. Because it leaves our freedom up to someone else. Yeah, don't put your freedom in somebody else's hands. Don't give hands. your freedom to them. No, they don't. They, oh, they already no. broke your trust. Magic Springs. We're not going to let bitterness get in our heart. Romans 12, 18, it says, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. It does not want you to have that in your heart with yep. anybody, yep. but it doesn't mean you have to just trust everything everybody says. So if that's what forgiveness isn't, here's how we can make something right that we've done wrong. Three different things. The first one is repentance. Mm. Turn away from the wrong actions that we've done and we'll go in the opposite direction. That's what repent actually means. If you're doing something wrong, you're going this way. You're gonna turn and you're gonna go this way. Yeah, just like that. 
Hey guys, Neil here. Oh, Tyler's still here. Second one, restitution. Make things right if possible. Yeah. Rebuild the trust, okay? Yeah. Help them rebuild it, you rebuild it. If you can clean it up, go back and clean it up. Clean that mug up. Don't leave that spill on the floor. Mm. One time in high school, a guy punched another guy in the kidney and peed on the floor. It would have been gross if they never cleaned that up. That's we good. should actually do this last part over by the other place. By the yellow? Yeah. It was all yellow. Remember them? Go yeah. play. Look at the stars. The third one is rebuild trust. We made them all R's. That's pretty convenient. Yeah. Rebuild trust. Prove yourself consistent in words and action. Three R's. Uh, repentance. Restitution. Rebuild trust. That's it. You know, we gonna pray us out? I'm gonna pray us out. I'm gonna film you and not me. Okay. God, we ask you to show us any area of our life that our thinking is messed up and realign us with your word. Holy Spirit, please heal our hearts as we forgive people who have hurt us and help us to forgive ourselves. In Jesus' name, amen. That's good, Neil. We forgive you too. Forgive me Magic for Springs. climbing up to the top of this roller coaster. At the end of the day, um... Speaking of that, let's pray.